as you snuggle deeper into your cozy bed, let your imagination carry you away to a serene underwater kingdom, a magical place called Harmony Cove. The sunlight dances and darts across the surface of the water, creating a twinkling ceiling, like a sky full of sparkling stars that dance around like ballerinas. Look around and see the corals, like a vibrant carnival of shapes and sizes painted in every colour you can imagine. They sway gently with the rhythm of the waves, adding to the soothing atmosphere. In this watery paradise, friendly fish swim gracefully, swirling and twirling through the crystal clear water, playing hide and seek with their friends. Their scales shimmer and glimmer, reflecting the light like precious gemstones. They come in all sizes, from the tiniest clownfish to the magnificent and majestic dolphins that dance around the surface of the water. You follow the dolphins up to the surface. As you reach the surface of the ocean, you feel the gentle rhythm of the water as the waves pass over you. You match your breath to the rhythm of the waves as they pass over your head. Breathing in and out, you feel the waves slowly move you from side to side. Continue to breathe in this way, feeling the way that the water rocks you into a feeling of deep relaxation. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Feel the waves crashing over you. Breathing in and out. That's right. Breathing in. And as you breathe out one more time, you realize you've got so relaxed that you've sunk down to the bottom of the cove. The sand beneath your toes feels as soft as a fluffy pillow inviting you to sink your feet in and relax even more. In this peaceful paradise, there's a special friend we're going to meet. His name is Echo. Echo is a small, shy turtle with a shell as green as the leafiest lettuce and eyes as kind and blue as a summer sky. But whenever anyone comes near, Echo gets a bit scared. His heart beats fast, like the pitter-patter of raindrops on a rooftop. He quickly tucks his head and flippers into his shell, hiding away from the world outside. It's in these moments that his shell becomes his safe haven, like a secret fort where he can be alone. While tucked safely in his shell, Echo often talks to himself his gentle voice a soothing whisper. He wonders what the other fish think of him and if they would ever want to be friends with a shy turtle like him. Do they think I'm strange for hiding away? Would they laugh if I tried to play with them? He asks himself quietly. As he speaks, his words echo softly around the inside of his shell, creating a comforting cocoon of sound that surrounds him. From inside his shell, he peers to see all the friendly sea creatures playing a fun game of hide-and-seek in the seaweed. On this particular day, laughter filled the cove as they swam and hid, their scales shimmering with excitement. But Echo could only watch from the comfort of his cosy shell. He longed to join in the fun, to laugh and play hide-and-seek with friends. But a feeling of shyness held him back. As Echo continued to watch the game go on from his shell, he couldn't help but feel a sense of longing. He wanted to join the fun, to be a part of the lively games and laughter, but he wasn't sure how. He felt a nudge within his heart, a tiny voice that encouraged him to find answers, to figure out 
how he too could be part of the fun. And so, with a small flutter of determination, Echo decided to embark on a little adventure to find his confidence. He swam away from the familiar sights of Harmony Cove, up towards the river that flowed into the sea. The river was a long, winding path of cool, flowing water, leading him away from the ocean and towards new discoveries. As he swam along the river, he marvelled at the new sights and sounds. He saw tall trees standing proud on the banks, their leaves rustling gently in the breeze. He heard the songs of the birds, their melody filling the air with a sweet, calming tune. Everything was new and exciting, and with each stroke of his tiny flippers, Echo felt his worries drifting away. And then, there he was. Sitting by the riverbed was a bear. But not just any bear. This was the coolest bear Echo had ever seen. Dressed in a snazzy leather jacket and shiny sunglasses, he had a vibe that was as warm as a sunny day. The bear was chit-chatting with a group of other animals, their laughter and joy swirling around him like a happy cloud. This bear was called Confidence. Echo watched Confidence from his hiding spot, his eyes wide with awe. He pondered, How does Confidence do it? How can he be so brave and loved? Gathering up all his courage, Echo decided he would ask him. His heart was thumping like a drum, boom, 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 as he slowly poked his head out from under his shell. Taking a deep breath, he swam towards the riverbank. But halfway there, his nerves got the better of him, and he quickly ducked back into his shell. But Echo knew he needed to try. He poked his head back out and continued swimming, repeating this a few more times until he finally reached the riverbank and climbed out of the water towards confidence. Echo's tiny voice was just above a whisper when he finally asked, Confidence? How do you do it? How do you make so many friends? Confidence turned his head and gave Echo a warm smile. Echo, he responded, his voice as soothing as a lullaby. It's all about believing in yourself, little dude. When you believe in yourself, others will believe in you too. Would you like me to teach you how? A wave of hope washed over Echo like the sun breaking through the clouds after a storm. With a little nod, he eagerly agreed to Confidence's offer. His heart was still beating fast, but it wasn't just from nerves anymore. It was an excitement to learn and grow. Confidence led Echo to a smooth rock tucked away on a quiet riverbank, overlooking the river leading to Harmony Cove. This special spot was right next to the flowing river and was perfect for finding peace and calm. As Echo settled onto the rock, feeling its cool, comforting touch beneath his shell, he began to feel a sense of calmness wrap around him like a warm blanket. He closed his eyes and took a deep breath letting his worries and self-doubt drift away. Echo, confidence began, his voice as soothing as the rustling leaves in the wind. I want you to join me in a cool practice. It's called meditation. It helps us feel calm and centered. It can even help us find our inner self-worth. Are you ready, dude? Echo nodded, his heart full of anticipation. 
awesome dude, Confidence explained. Now, let's begin. Close your eyes and take a deep breath in. And out. In. And out. Confidence's voice was gentle, a soft rhythm echoing the peaceful sound of the river flowing nearby. Now, I want you to imagine a small, glowing ball of light in your heart. This light represents your inner self, your true self. Can you see it, dude? That's great. Now, Imagine that light growing brighter and brighter with each breath you take. Feel it spreading warmth throughout your body, from your head to your flippers. Now, confidence continued. Imagine this light speaking to you. It's saying, Echo, you are kind, you are brave, you are loved, you are friendly, and you are courageous. You have everything you need within you. Can you hear it, little dude? Echo could hear the voice of his inner light, its message echoing in his heart. That's your inner self-belief, Echo, Confidence explained. It's always there, ready to support and guide you, dude. Whenever you feel shy or nervous, remember this light. Remember its message that you are kind. You are brave, you are loved, you are friendly, and you are courageous. You are kind, you are brave, you are loved, you are friendly, and you are courageous. You are kind, you are brave, you are loved, you are friendly, and you are courageous. Keep on repeating these special words when you feel scared and you will let the waves of confidence roll on in. After their calming meditation, confidence looked at Echo, his eyes twinkling with kindness. Echo, you did awesome. Now, I want to share a special secret with you. These, he said, showing Echo three pebbles, are the pebbles of self-belief. They will help you become more confident. The first pebble was as red as a juicy cherry. This is the pebble of courage, said Confidence. It will remind you to be brave just like a superhero. The second pebble was tough and rough. This is the pebble of persistence. It will help you remember to keep trying, even when things get tricky. The third pebble was as yellow as a cherry sunflower. This is the pebble of compassion. It will remind you to be kind to yourself just like you'd be kind to your best mate. If you look after these pebbles, they will look after you too. Echo cradled the pebbles gently in his shell, their reassuring weight a constant reminder of Confidence's words. He felt their strength seep into his heart, sparking a flame of courage he hadn't felt before. With a soft, grateful smile, he thanked Confidence, and with newfound determination, 
swam back towards the colourful spectacle that was Harmony Cove. As Echo paddled back to the cove, the water seemed to sparkle more vibrantly, each ripple echoing with the promise of a new beginning. The colourful corals danced with more cheer, and the sunlight shimmered with an extra touch of magic. Everything looked the same, yet everything felt different. It was as if Echo was seeing the world through new eyes, eyes full of hope and courage. As he approached the bustling scene of the cove, he noticed a group of sea animals engrossed in a lively game of hide-and-seek. Their laughter echoed through the water, their happiness infectious. Echo's heart began to flutter like a butterfly, a mix of nervousness and excitement. But then he remembered the powerful red pebble of courage nestled safely in his shell. With the pebble's power pulsating through him, he took a deep, calming breath that echoed the rhythm of the waves. Plucking up all his courage, Echo swam closer. His voice, usually as soft as a sea breeze, now carried an undertone of determination as he asked, Can I join your game? The words floated out into the open water and, for a moment, everything seemed to freeze. To his amazement, the sea creatures turned towards him, their faces lighting up with bright, welcoming smiles. Of course, Echo, we'd love to have you, they exclaimed. Their voices rang out as warm and inviting as a crackling campfire on a chilly night, their welcome as comforting as a soft, snuggly blanket. Echo felt a rush of happiness wash over him. For the first time, he didn't feel like an outsider looking in. He felt a part of something, a part of this colourful, vibrant community in Harmony Cove. And as he swam closer to join the game, his heart echoed with the rhythm of joy and newfound confidence. As Echo joined in the fun, his heart filled with joy. He realised that by taking that brave step, he hadn't just joined a game, he'd made new friends. He felt a sense of belonging knowing that he was accepted just the way he was. As he swam and played with his newfound friends, he knew that his courage had opened a whole new world of joy and possibilities. And so, Echo joined the game, feeling a little nervous at first, but soon the warm giggles of his new friends melted his nerves away. With each passing moment, he felt more and more at ease, his laughter joining the merry chorus of his friends, bouncing and echoing around the cove. The game was full of fun and laughter. The seaweeds swished and swirled as they hid and sought, their bodies darting and diving between the seaweed. Every so often, someone would burst out from a hiding place, sending a scatter of tiny bubbles floating up to the surface. Echo was right in the middle of it all, his shell no longer a barrier but a part of the fun. As the sun began to set, painting the sky with strokes of pink and orange, Echo felt a warmth in his heart. The day had been full of joy, and as he looked at his new friends, he knew he had made the right choice. He had found his place in the cove, not as an observer from the sidelines, but as part of the lively community. His journey of finding courage, persisting in the face of fear and showing kindness to himself, had led him to this beautiful moment. 
He was no longer the shy turtle who watched from afar. He was Echo, the brave and friendly turtle who faced his fears and found a whole new world of friendship and fun. As the day came to a close, Echo found himself back at his cosy spot in the sand. He looked at the three pebbles of self-belief, courage, compassion and persistence and smiled. They had been his guides today, his little reminders of the strength that he carried within him. He held them close to his heart and whispered a quiet thank you. As the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, reflecting off the calm surface of the sea, Echo felt a sense of peace wash over him. He was ready to face whatever came next with a brave heart, a persistent spirit and a kind soul. Echo slowly withdrew into his shell, his little flippers tucking in one by one, not out of fear, but from a soft wave of tiredness that gently washed over him. His day full of adventures had finally caught up with him, and he welcomed the calmness of his cosy shell just like how you might welcome your soft, fluffy bed after a long day of play. Inside his shell, it was quiet and peaceful, like a secret hideaway. It was just him and the comforting echo of his voice. Well done, Echo, he murmured softly to himself. His voice filled the small space, bouncing off the shell's walls, creating a soothing echo that swirled around him like a warm, comforting hug. You did it. You overcame your fears, and you now have new friends that you can play with tomorrow. The words felt good, like a pat on the back, from a good friend. They felt encouraged and filled him with love. His heart fluttered with joy, like a butterfly dancing in the sun. As his whisper slowly faded, a soft smile spread across his face. He felt loved, truly loved. And the most wonderful thing was, this love was coming from within him. Echo realised he didn't just gain new friends today, he also found a new friend in himself. His eyelids grew heavier and his breathing slowed down. The sound of his own heartbeat echoed softly in his ears, a comforting rhythm that lulled him closer to the land of dreams. The day's adventures replayed in his mind like a soothing lullaby, each memory a note of happiness. With a final contented sigh, Echo slowly drifted off to a deep, restful sleep.